It's this river that has helped Mountai Tang earn its fame. The water is used to produce a world-class liquor. It also holds a place in the history of the Long March. The Red Army crossed here at Chishui River after spending three days at Mountai. The move helped the army evade directly confronting Kuomintang forces. And that part of history has been inscribed into the minds of the locals. The local people offered the sorghum distilled Maotai Lika to trace the trekking army. There are many stories involving the Red Army's three days of camping. Hu Jingshi is responsible for passing them on to younger generations. Back then, the Red Army ran short of medical supplies. They used the Maotai liquor to cure wounds and injuries, and soldiers, after marching for months, took the liquor to help recovery from fatigue. They paid for the consumed liquor for putting money beside the liquor jars. Some shop owners came back to find less liquor in the jar, but money there next to it. The government consolidated local distilleries into a state-owned company in the 1950s. Mao Tai was named as China's national liquor, and the production has multiplied over the decades. The amount of multi liquor being produced now is about 2,000 times more than the early stages of production. The industry has really grown to be a pivotal part of the local economy. The total assets of multi group now have added up to 100 billion yuan. It brought in operating revenue of over 40 billion yuan last year. Liquor production forms the pillar of Renhuai's economy. The industry contributes to 90% of the city's tax revenue, and more than 85% of that comes from Maotai Group. The company also accounts for 63% of the public budget. It has greatly boosted local fiscal revenue. The site where the Red Army in the Long March stayed has now become a tourist attraction. The local government says this legacy will further promote prosperity and make Maotai Tang enjoy much wider fame. Meng Qingsheng, CCTV, Renhuai, Guizhou Province.